Today we're going to talk about the hard realizations of Spiritism. Spiritism is a hard leap from the Christianity of Western civilization. It tells you certain things that you did not really believe or you kind of felt before. It tells you about reincarnation. We're here for multiple lives. It tells you about karma. What we do in this life affects our next life. What we did in our previous life affects our life now. We go through trials. Now, we've read about this and heard this from other religions, but it didn't permeate it. We didn't know to believe it or not. Spiritism says, yes, this is real. It changes our outlook and our life. These concepts are all large leaps for many people. Reincarnation, predestination, the immortality of our soul. We are who we are when we pass over. This body of ours is just temporary. But the hardest leap of all may be the fact that we lose our special status within our mind as a collective human race. We have this thought that we have been this evolving animal and we've created these civilizations and eventually technologically progress and we'll go out to the stars and we will be something fantastic in the universe at large. Spiritism puts us in our rightful place. Yes, we are humans. We have been here for eons, but our evolution has been guided by the spirit world. Our civilization has been guided by the spirit world. Our technological advances have all been planned out by the spirit world. We are not that special human life on earth. We are special. The spirit world knows and loves us. But the earth is actually a campus. The earth is a place for us to improve ourselves, to improve our life, to take out the bad emotions and put in the, the good feelings love, charity, honesty, fraternity. So it absolutely changes our outlook, our, our world view, so to say. It, it places in the, the correct context, the politics, the, the different philosophies, it all makes them slightly less important. Now they are important because they are part of our culture. I mean, we're supposed to ascend. We're supposed to become better and better. Eventually, we'll go from a planet of atonement, where we pay for our past wrongs, to a planet of regeneration, where hate and envy and wars will be gone. The, the earth will be a planet, a planet of paradise. But it does mean that we're not as unique and as, as important as we thought we were. We are just one of the many different planets that have campuses that are in, you know, their job is to mature immature souls. That's what we are. Anyway, if you want to learn more about the spirit world, please read my series of three books, Heaven and Below, Spirits in the Spirit Universe, and How We Are Guided by Spirits. It tells us really why we're on earth. What is our mission? What is our goal? all about the spirit universe. What are we when we are back as a spirit? What are the powers of the spirit? And where is the earth going? With this information, it should let you look at your life in a completely different manner. The highs and lows aren't so high and low. The things that are tragic to you, yes, they're still sad, but you have an understanding of why they may have happened. Please read and study the more you study, the more you think about this, the more you will feel better. You'll be able to understand what's happening to you and life will have a purpose once more. God bless.